In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to get started with Python 3 on Linux. The fastest way to do this is to just open up a terminal window. You can do this by hitting Control-Alt-T and opening up a terminal. I'm going to make my font a little bit bigger just so you can see. Otherwise, you can click the super key and then just search for terminal and pop up the window. Now, some folks might already have Python installed, so you can type in Python on your terminal. But you'll notice it says Python 2.7.17. And that's actually the old version of Python. And we don't want that version. We want Python 3 or above. So I'm going to type in quit to quit this. And instead, what I'll do is I'll type in Python 3 and then tap to see if I have a version of Python available. So as long as we have version Python 3.6 or beyond, we're in good shape. So if you want, you can run this directly from the terminal by typing in Python 3.6. What I'm going to prefer to do is to use the idle editor. So what you will have to do in order to install Python is to type in sudo apt-get install Python. Type in your password, whatever your password is. And in my case, I already have Python installed, so it didn't have to do anything. It says I have the newest version at 3.6. Now what you might also have to do is do sudo apt install idle, which installs the Python idle 3 editor and any updates for it. So this way you can just type in idle 3 in your terminal or just idle in my case, is which is what I have. And if I scroll down here, and bring the window down, you'll see Python 3.6.9 that shows up. Or you can just hit the super key and search for idle and it should pop up. But as long as it's launching Python 3.6.9, you're good to go. Idle provides a nice editor environment that has syntax highlighting where you can just type in commands and hit enter and process them one after the other. So it's very nice and friendly to use in a Linux environment. And this will be a universal tool that you can use on Windows, Linux, or Mac, for instance. So I like using this and will use this for the Linux system that I'm on, as it is universal for Windows, Linux, and Mac. But for Unix users, if you type quit, you can, of course, just type in Python 3 in a terminal if you're comfortable and just use that. Now we will be doing some scripts, for instance, and it might be useful to just use idle to follow along for those, but it's really your choice um, for what to do. So with that, you should be all set up and ready to go with Python on Linux.